No doubt what happens here in Washington can have a big impact on the people who work hard on farms and ranches all across our country. Over the past several months, we've gathered insight from a variety of voices from the cattle industry. We asked producers what message they want to deliver to policymakers here in Washington, D.C., and this is what they said. Certainly, um, we want to be able to provide a, a profitable, favorable business climate for livestock producers. And so we want to make sure that our government is there to support our operations and not to be overburdensome um, in terms of regulation. We want to have a, a voice in shaping those so those are reasonable, um, common sense rules that we can abide by and still be able to provide a, a profitable uh, lifestyle and to do our part in feeding and clothing the world. If I had a chance to go and talk to Congress and tell them what I thought, I don't think that I would tell them anything. I would bring them out and show them what we do on a day-to-day -day basis and allow them to see how we operate, the things that we need, the uh, government programs that benefit us, just so that they could have a hands-on experience and understand how they impact us and our industry and the food industry as a whole. My message is I want less taxes and if you have to do less for me, do less, but don't keep raising my taxes and trying to protect my protect me from cradle to grave. Um, let us do some of our own things and, and um, we don't need more government, we need less government and less taxes. You know, we need some leadership. Uh, we need some leadership in, uh, you know, Congress, in the Senate. We need some, some, somebody to, to kind of stand up and, and provide some vision for this country, not one election cycle to the next. Um, you know, they get into office and it, it's really frustrating for me is it because they do about three months of work and then they're back into uh, re-election mode. So I think, you know, there's some good people back there. I know there are. I've met some of them. And so, you know, hopefully we can get some more of those good people in there and get something done. We need all the help we can get, especially in Washington, D.C., with uh, lobbying for us and lobbying on our behalf and keeping us informed on the issues. You know, we've got, there's a lot of issues that come up that that living where I do, we don't see those issues on a day-to-day -day basis and get emails and, and stuff from NCBA and it's, it's worth a fortune to me to, uh, to be able to find out what's going on. If you'd like to support the work of NCBA in defending and advocating for the cattle industry in Washington, D.C., why not become an NCBA member? It's easy to do. Just call toll-free 1-866-USA-BEEF or visit the website beefusa.org.